Let me see your identification. You don't need to see his identification. Well, this fun story is supposed to about how customs stops one of my shipments, but not for, you know, your normal reasons. This, when I get stopped for customs, sometimes something else happens. I just want to share a little story I had with, uh, let's call them DHL. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We can just say their name because uh, I can say whatever I want in this channel. Doesn't really matter, right? Testicles. See? It doesn't matter. All right. So this story, anyway, <laughs> works. The same as usual, hard at work, doing something, and then I see an email. You know, whenever I receive an email from the, you know, DHL, it's like, oh, so usually I have to pay some customs or something's missing, like there's a zero somewhere missing, or they don't know if it's American or Canadian price. They need to figure it out, even though it's always been American prices. So the email just reads up something like, hope you are well. I'm like, wait a second. And then it goes on to say, DHL Express screens all parties to a shipment against restricted party list maintained by the US government, EU, and UN. A party to your shipment was identified as a potential match to the name of the above mentioned list. And here I'm like, oh no, I'm dealing with somebody that's not supposed to be, all right, so who is it? This is Timmy, you know, two pounds for 99 tacos. I shouldn't have known something was up. All right, fine, let's just keep reading and see, you know, what's happening here. So somebody is just like an unrestricted list that's attached to this shipment. Ugh. Airway bill, blah, 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 is on hold at DHL for a possible denied and restricted party match on the UN EU sanctions list. As seen below, in order to have your release your shipment, we ask that you please provide a copy of your ID slash passport with a date of birth. Possible denied party match, Amir Humaid Hassan Al I'm like, oh my God, it's me. Well, of course I know him, he's me. Hey, all right, let me check this out. So I go on Google, I type the name and boom, I look and it says here, Amir Humaid Hassan Al Saidi, I mean, oh. Organizational genius behind the Iraqi super weapons program for Saddam Hussein. And I'm just like, oh, no, no. They think I'm a genius behind a super weapons program for Saddam Hussein. And I'm like, oh, no, this is not going to be fun. Emotional damage. Well, Radish, let's just see what he looks like. And oh, they think I'm this guy. This white-haired seven of diamonds on the Iraqi most wanted list. And my first reaction is like, oh, so they think I'm a genius and that, you know, as I'm importing these weapons of mass toy destruction, they didn't think like I would change my name. This is like the Forrest Gump of like masterminds or something here. So I'm supposed to be a super genius and I escape all detection and travel to Canada and I didn't bother changing my name at all. Just like, what's your name? James Bond. Oh, I mean, Jameson bondage like, like like come on like really i didn't change my name like abdullah where where is the, the weapons huh oh no no put it customs on no problem put another my name i'll i'll pay the fatura don't worry come on man Ugh. it doesn't also help that this guy's name is like 19 names all together so it's like they gotta get a lot of hits out of here it's like it's unfortunate that my, my name is like amir and then like some his third name is hassan so uh, like i'm stuck now like with his identity. I really have to prove to three government agencies like and I'm not this like, how old is this guy? Like 70 years old? I have to prove I'm not a 70 year old scientist that's... <laughs> is this real life? Whoa. 70, like, am I... <laughs> Mission Impossible is quick. Ah, I'm 70 year old Iraqi scientist, like surprise. Nanotech. So naturally, at this point, I'm ready to go to war. So, because I don't really wanna talk with three government agencies to get my stuff out. So, you know, just give a little Matt a call. All right, Sartor, you got small. Hey, who's talking about small? You got fat. Oh. Hey, Matt. Yeah, it's me, Amir, Toys on Man. Yo, what's up, Amir? So you free this weekend? Cause like, I need to, you know, break into customs to get some toys out. Nah, nah, I'm busy. I'm sorry. I got to write a strongly worded letter to Mattel today. Maybe next time. All right, maybe next time. Let me call, uh, Ellie. I mean, I paid the guy. Hello? Hey, Ellie, what's up with everything? What's going on? Hey, anyway, are you free this weekend? Because, like, I need to get in customs. I need to break in and, uh, like, get my my toys out. You think you can uh, help me out here? No, sir. It's my dog's birthday. No? Oh, no? Okay. Um, sure. At this point, I realized, like, okay, maybe planning, you know, an Ocean's Eleven heist to get my toys out is probably not the correct way. And... I don't know. I just didn't want to 
you know, show my ID because like, I mean, I think I did everything right. So it's just like, I'm only being targeted here because of my name. So it's a bit annoying, had a bit of rebellion in me. And, but you know, it's like, whatever, I show my ID, I can show my ID, I've shown my ID. I've been randomly selected every time I go to the airport. That's fine, you know, I've traveled seven times, but I've been randomly selected 15 times. That's right, one trip, I was selected twice going one way. Like, it's no problem, you know, it's like, I go to the airport, you know, oh, randomly selected, yeah, sure. You want me to speak to Johnson over there? Yeah, okay, I'll go, you know, poof. They're like, oh, you, you, yeah, you. They already have my fingerprints, ID scan, shoe size, my mother's maiden name. So it's... Whatever, I can do this again. All right, fine, let's get on with it. Let's talk with the guy. Let's talk about blasters, because, you know, I'm an evil scientist that, you know, blasters are within the realm of possibility now. You have blasters in your uh, shipment? Like, yeah, you know, blasters, they're like, you know, for Star Wars, this is, there's war. Like, no, no, you know, not war. Like, you know, it's like for Nerf guns, they, like, they, guns? Like, no, 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 not guns, like gun gun. Like, no more, like, you know, they, they shoot plastic at people shooting people like no 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 like man there are so many trigger words right now that i don't want to say trigger you have a trigger no man this is yeah, going bad where we just had to like well what kind of plastic my star wars toys were and it's annoying because you have to prove you're innocent rather than innocent until proven guilty with uh this whole situation so you know it obviously creates a lot of stress and it was you know now this was 2020 I don't know, September. So, you know, we were still in lockdown here in Montreal. You know, just one of those things, like, if they read the transcript, they're like, like, oh my God. But when you hear the guy's voice and he's dead serious and my voice is like, you know, it's whatever, but trying to like tell him like, hey, you know, it's uh, fun stuff. And, you know, they're not having it. I mean, it worked out at the end. So, like I was able to convince him I wasn't an evil scientist. I was able to, you know, Jedi mind trick them. And let me see your identification. You don't need to see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. He can go about his business. You can go about your business. Move along. Move along. Now I laugh at it because in the past, right? So we, we can like ignore it and like laugh at it. Obviously at the time, an extremely stressful situation because it's like, you know, COVID was still new and like, Businesses were closing down. There was people panicking, buying toilet paper. And in Montreal at the time, we had a, a curfew. So we had to like be home by a certain hour. Otherwise, like it's illegal, essentially. Obviously, we only had so many hours which we were allowed to work. And people were like sending an email, oh, where's my product? Shipments are behind. And on top of that, I only have a few hours to work because of the curfew. And now on top of that, I have to prove I'm not an evil scientist to the EU, UN, and the US agencies to get my products in so like it was just like an extra thing that obviously no business wants to deal with at the time oh it was like oh 2020 <laughs> what a year and now we're dealing with transformers attacking us are you abdullah Khan. oh let me guess i can't travel can i no all right well i mean that's my story if uh, you like do enjoy these kind of toy stories please like the video and i'll know that this is the kind of content you guys want to see more of bye for now do it just do it don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it.